Hey, it's Gabe with API Nation. Today I'm going to show you how you can sync Brivity with Google Sheets. So all the contacts and leads you have in Brivity can automatically be sent into a Google Sheet where you can run reports on them, filter on them, get organized in Google Sheets, and you can actually create a two-way sync so that everybody you sync to that Google Sheet can also be synced back in Brivity. It offers you a lot of ways to get organized, gain insights into your business, and it's super easy to set up. Let me show you how. The first thing you're gonna do is go to apination.com and click on Start Syncing. You're gonna see a ton of different apps here at API Nation, marketing apps, productivity apps. I'm gonna scroll down until I see B for Brivity, and I'm gonna click on that one. It's gonna show me all the apps I can automate at API Nation along with Brivity. So you can see I can sync Brivity with marketing apps like Active Campaign, Constant Contact. I can even sync it with my Google Contacts phone book or my iPhone Contacts phone book. Today, I'm going to sync it with Google Sheets and it's gonna create a single spreadsheet of my entire business. So I can do reports, charting, share it and collaborate if I wanna do that. So here we go, there's two syncs available. Like I said, you can create a two-way sync. You would just activate both of these. I'm gonna start with this one, Brivity leads to Google Sheets spreadsheet. So I'm gonna hit activate that. You can see there's a flat rate at the top and the flat rate is for this connection between these two. So you can turn on one sync, two syncs. You can turn these syncs on eight times, producing a bunch of different spreadsheets. It's still just gonna be the single flat rate, no matter how many syncs you have turned on between these two. So let's start with Brivity leads into Google Sheets. First step is to sign into your API Nation account. If you don't have one, you can click this link to create one, or you can sign in with your Google account, which is what I'm gonna do. Once you sign in, it's gonna have you connect both apps. So the first app to connect, I believe is Brivity, there it is. So you can just hit this connect button. It's gonna ask you for your username of Brivity, your Brivity password, and a label for this connection. I'm gonna start with a label. That is just in case you're managing multiple Brivity connections on API Nation, so you can tell them apart. So you can name it after you, your office, uh, your team name. Now let's grab that username. So this is how I sign into Brivity. And the password. I'm gonna pop that in there and hit connect. There we go, so it's connected. And now I'm gonna connect Google Sheets. So I hit this connect button again. It's gonna show me the Google accounts I have on this browser. I can choose the one I want the Google Sheet to be created in and hit allow. All right, now we're gonna create the sync. There's just a few options here. Do I wanna sync all contacts on first run? You can see that means it's gonna send everybody who's currently in my Brivity, my existing contacts, and it's also gonna send people who I add from now on. I'm gonna go ahead and check that because I wanna get that whole business into Google Sheets. If you uncheck that box, it's just gonna send any new or updated customers that you add from now on. Totally up to you. You can also choose to only send over people with certain tags. So you could add those tags here. Maybe I want to create a spreadsheet full of people I've tagged as Fizbo or seller or military. I could do that. And then I'm just going to name this sheet. I'm going to call this Brivity Master Sheet and hit subscribe. That's it. It's going to create the sync. It's not yet active yet. I just had to hit this button to activate it. I'm going to go down here and take another look. We're syncing all contacts, no filter. It's going to a sheet called Brivity Master Sheet. We also have this other filter tool if you want to filter on anything else from Brivity. So you can see you can filter on email addresses, any of these fields that are coming over, source, tags, status. So you can create a spreadsheet of just a single status. If you have somebody that needs to pay attention to that status, you can have it automatically populated here. A lot of different options there in the filter tool. And then we're gonna come down here to mapping. When you're syncing stuff to Google Sheets on API Nation, the mapping is pretty much really, really easy. It just takes everything that we have and puts it in columns in Google Sheets. So I'm gonna stick with that and hit activate. And there we go. This sheet is now up and running. You can see it's gonna start sending over batches of contacts and creating that entire spreadsheet. If I look back a little bit later, I should see really good progress on that spreadsheet being created full of all my contacts from Brivity. So that's the first step. Now I'm gonna click on this Brivity logo again, and I'm gonna go back and show you the other sync, sending it from a Google Sheet into Brivity. So there's a couple different reasons you would do this. One is if you wanted to create a two-way sync between Brivity and a single Google Sheet. So I've created this Google Sheet called Brivity Master List. I can now connect that sheet back to Brivity and if I update or change anybody in that Google Sheet, it'll get sent back to Brivity. So it's a good way to make quick 
updates to my business, to my leads and contacts. I could just go through a spreadsheet and make the changes and those changes will get synced into Brivity, which can be a lot quicker because it's all on a single page. And I don't have to click through a lot of things. And if I delete everybody in that spreadsheet, it's not gonna delete everybody in Brivity. So that's totally safe. Another thing people might want to do though is connect a Google form to Brivity. And if you're not familiar, Google forms are exactly what they sound like. Forms offered by Google. And so what some agents will do is they'll create a Google form, a simple one, like this contact information form. You're gonna want to make sure your Google form is first name and last name because that's how people are in Brivity. And you can use this form for events or open houses and have people fill out this form on a tablet, which you'll automatically submit their information to a Google Sheet and using that sync we were just looking at, have that Google Sheet send it into Brivity. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I have this Google form. Once I've created it, I'm gonna go to responses and press the Google Sheet button. It says, all right, we're gonna create a new one. So I'm gonna say, yeah, I'm gonna call this sheet send to Brivity. And I'm gonna hit create. There you go, you see it's created the sheet. So now anytime somebody fills out this form that I've just created, that I could use at open houses or other events, I could even text this form, I could text people a link to this form and have them update their contact information and it'll automatically update it in Brivity. So a lot of great options here. But now I need to connect this Google Sheet to Brivity. To do that, I'm gonna go back to API Nation and use that sync we were just looking at, Google Sheets to Brivity. I'm gonna activate that. And it's gonna ask me a few things again. Which Google account do we wanna use? Which Brivity account do we wanna use? We'll just use the ones I just connected, so those will work. And now it's gonna say, all right, where is that Google Sheet you wanna add in here? So I'm gonna to go to that Google Sheet we just created called Send to Brivity. I'm gonna grab this URL at the top and hit Control C. This is what we need. Go back to API Nation, hit Control V to paste it in there. And here's a couple other options for these contacts that are getting added into Brivity. Do I want them added as new, hot, watch, nurture, inactive, archive, tri trash? I'm gonna go with new. I'm gonna say they're leads. And actually I'm gonna have them tagged. I'm gonna have them tagged as Google Form. That's where they're coming from. And I could assign it to an agent if I want but I'm just gonna leave it uh, leave a blank there. Finally, there's an option here, do not overwrite information in Brivity fields, only add information in the blank fields. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this unchecked. So if you're sending this Google form out to your clients and saying, hey, I wanna keep in touch with you, can you please make sure, uh, could you please add your email address? Could you please add your street address, email and phone so I have the most up-to-date information? If that's what you're doing, you're probably gonna wanna leave this box unchecked so that it can update phone, email, street address. If you're just adding people from a open house or event, maybe go ahead and check the box. That way it's only adding any new information for any new contacts. I'm gonna hit subscribe. And again, it's gonna give me one final check here. This looks good, we got the URL. They're coming in as new leads, tagged as Google form. Again, I could filter who's coming in based on what, you know, if they have an email address, they have an address, if there's something in the comments. Here's how it's mapped. Email's going to email, first name, last name. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that phone number and pop it in there. To grab a field from there, just hit the plus sign and it's gonna offer you all the fields from the Google form. I'm gonna come on down here and see if there's anything else I want to add. This all looks pretty good. I think this is pretty much ready. There's a description here. I'm gonna go ahead and add that comments field to the description just in case. And this looks good. I'm gonna go to the top and activate this sync. So there we go. Now if I go over here to my syncs, I have two syncs up and running between Brivity and Google Sheets. First, I'm syncing all my contacts, all my leads from Brivity into a single Google Sheet where I could run charts, reports, and get insights into my business. Also, I've set up a sync between a Google Sheet I have connected to this Google form, and anybody who fills out this form is getting sent to the sheet and is also getting sent along to Brivity so that I can follow up with them in Brivity without having to copy, paste, import, export, or anything like that. So that's it, that's how you sync Brivity with Google Sheets. There's a lot of great reasons to do it. 
get a complete spreadsheet of all your contacts and leads so you can take a look at them and learn what your business looks like. You can create a two-way sync to make cleaning up your database a little bit easier. And you can create that sync from a spreadsheet into Brivity so that you can have people fill out a Google form and automatically get added into Brivity without you having to copy or paste or do anything else. If you have any questions or need any assistance setting up this sync, give us a phone call, shoot us an email, we're API Nation and we're connecting the world's applications.